Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy, Retro Hero, back doing another Garbage Pail Kids show and tell. This one's number 36. In today's episode, we're doing volume four of the Retro Hero Collection. I really enjoyed sharing volume one through three with you. Thanks for all the love and all the thumbs up. Really appreciated. Volume four, I don't know what to name this one. So we're probably just going to call it the Retro Hero Mishmash Collection. It's going to be a combination of wall plaques and Imperial toys and mugs, those types of items. Things that I really wanted as a kid that I never saved enough allowance for. A few disclaimers before we start. Number one, this is not the most complete collection you're going to see on YouTube. It is just my collection. I love every single little piece. I enjoy sharing all this with you, and I am very humbled to have this collection. Number two, I don't remember a lot of prices on this stuff. Not that it would matter with today's Garbage Pail Kid prices, so I'm probably not going to go over a whole lot of pricing because I don't want to give you incorrect information. Let's not forget about that 750 subscriber giveaway. At time of recording, we are really close to 625 subscribers. That will be the reveal of what the 750 subscriber giveaway will be. We do know it's a full color sketch card. It is an official sketch card, so I'm excited to share that with you. And I'm excited Miss Retro Hero and I can still give these out. I love giving back to this community. So thank you again to all my new subscribers. Welcome back to all my faithful GPK fam out there. Why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. Welcome back. We're going to start with the Garbage Pail Kids 3D wall plaques. As you can see from left to right, we've got Bony Tony, Mug Marcus, Snooty Sam, Lakey Lenze, and Pony Lisa. We're going to add a few more to that from my collection. Here is Bony Joni. Now, as you can see, they have that 80s fake wood grain on them. They are that really flexible, light plastic. You can almost bend them in the package. They're 3D, so they're really, really cool. On the back, what you would do is pull the double-sided tape and you would just paste these on your walls in your room. So awesome, I love these. Some have the price tag on them still, some do not. I don't own any of these from my original childhood collection. In fact, I do not remember actually ever buying any of these from my childhood but they're still really cool. So there is Boney Joni. Second one I have here is Babbling Brook. She is absolutely adorable. Still has that price tag on there. I don't know who Circle K is, but it was $1.39 whenever that was bought. So I am assuming that's probably back in its heyday. Another Acne Amy 3D, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, you can feel that on her face. So sexy, Acne Amy couple more here. 80s as 80s can be our boy Rappin' Ron. $1.39 again. Rappin' Ron. Awesome. And of course, we can't have a collection without our boy Adam Bomb. Again, wonderful 3D rendition of Adam Bomb. Still sealed, double-sided tape. Really cool. Now, I don't have the original box for these. I always wanted one. I have bid on it for probably several years. I just never seem to win the box. Even when the ones come up that are in poor condition, they seem to go pretty quick. Regardless, these are my 3D wall plaques in my collection and a very welcome addition to the collection. Let's move on to just a few other items. This right here, 
I received this recently from another collector, the Garbage Pail Kid Card Collector's Case. It's by Playco Toys, very cool. Says compartment holds up to 160 cards. Here's the spine of that. You can see a little bit of damage on there. Normally these things would have come completely off because they were so played with as kids. This is what you would put your collection in. Hopefully you didn't put it in rubber bands, you put it in one of these, but regardless, this is mine. Super, super fun addition to my collection. Love this, very nostalgic for this. I had one of these as a kid, I do remember. I think I got it from a friend through a trade, but I lost it over many, many years. This was again a recent purchase. Picked it up for just a few dollars and a very, again, welcome addition to my collection. In addition to that, we're gonna add some fun little items. So this, you saw it in the background of one of my videos. I think it was my volume one collection. This is a Garbage Pail Kid sticker album. Now this I did not have as a kid, but it is so cool. I picked this up off of eBay through an auction. I got a great price. What I really liked about this is opening it up. I haven't done anything different with this. So out there, Bo Blackwell in Johnson City. If you are still collecting Garbage Pail Kids, brother, look me up. I will send this back to you, but this is awesome. Bo Blackwell, he has 85 stickers, six trading cards. Favorite sticker is Warren Warren, and favorite trading card is Cracker Craig, or Cracked Craig, excuse me. Um, this is cool. These are the cards that were actually inside of this when I received it. They're still in pretty good condition, so whoever had this took pretty good care of it. They did do some stickers there for some cards. And again, you know, I just didn't do anything with this because I thought, how cool is this just to have? So anyway, very welcome addition to my collection. Been filled in an original Garbage Pail Kids sticker album. So very, very cool. And Bo Blackwell, again, if you're out there, look me up, buddy. Welcome addition to my collection. All right, so let's push this back there so I can add a few more things to what's going on. All right, so these are folders. Um, I've been picking these up over time as I saw good deals on folders. Here is our boy Adam Baum school folder. Looks like Adam is probably in a little bit used condition. Backside has got our boy Sticky Rick. Sticky Rick and Adam Baum. Then of course, here's a Rap and Ron folder. And Junk Food John, what a great full folder image of Junk Food John inside of that really nice condition doesn't look like that one was used itchy richie and dizzy dave here's a sicky vicky and geeky gary and our last one here roy bot and ash can andy some of these are in better conditions than others some of them have the original price tags in them but still a very welcome addition to my collection really like these folders this is one of the few things i remember having as a kid in fifth grade is some garbage pail kid folders so very very cool very nostalgic for me all right in addition to that we're gonna grab her again this is glowing amber glowing amber was a really nice gift from miss retro hero now this comes from Trick or Treat Studios. It was on sale a while back. You could find these on Amazon. This is not the mask. It is just a foam cutout here that is for decoration. She even has her little candle up top that you can put a battery in, turn her on and show her for display. I thought this was pretty awesome. I uh, Miss Retro Hero picked this up for me on a whim and long time since then these have sold out. They had some great Halloween masks. I don't think it shows in here what else they had, but they had some cool masks. I believe one was gonna be a Boney Tony mask and uh, Zeke Freak was another one maybe. I, I don't know. Um, I think Alligator was the last one, but very welcome addition to my collection. It sits upon my collection shelf. And again, Miss Retro Hero, a wonderful gift from my lovely wife. Okay, so you've seen this in one of my earlier videos. This is that big giant mamma jamma box. 
the Vinyl Figures Series 1. Um, I never opened this, mostly because, well, I just, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to open them and display them or, or what. Supposedly, you get a full set in one of these boxes, but here are the characters you can get on the back. They're all still sealed. Um, I really just like this big, gigantic box that all this went into, so I just put it on top of my collection shelf. It's, it's even a little bit dusty but uh, a really welcome addition to my collection nonetheless. I was super stoked when my wife gave that to me a few years ago for my birthday. All right, I'm running out of room, but I did wanna show maybe one or two other things before I took a quick break and came back with some other cool items. So this over here, everyone's seen the Imperial toy box that I had. This is just my box of minikins. Now, when I bought my Minikins box, they were a great price on Amazon. I think it was $50 for one of those just regular cardboard boxes full of Series 1 Minikins. This is a Series 2 box. However, inside of it is just full of the Series 1 mini figures, And I love these. I opened up a bunch of these and then I put them in holders. I kept the stickers very nostalgic reminded me again of those cheap toys so this was a very welcome addition to my collection i believe someone on facebook just shot me over this box so i could keep it displayed in here since i didn't want to keep them in the old standard cardboard box that they came in so i'm very thankful for that i don't have any of the series two i have opened up a few that i have found but I'll only series one are in this box but regardless still a very welcome addition to my collection all right, before we get into Imperial Toys and some other things, let's take a quick break just so I can clear off the workstation here and we'll jump into some other cool items. All right, welcome back. And I had to clear off some space, so there is my background there in all its glory. I apologize about that, but it is what it is, right? So my buddy John Ellis in Hawaii, he hooked me up with this really cool box, which is the display box for the magnet cards with the gummy candy. Um, really cool addition. I got this uh, maybe a year or two ago. Um, I have since put in the packs. I've got a bunch of atom bombs. Some have the different price tags on them. Of course, besides atom bomb, you got Potestatic, my boy, Beastie Boyd. And of course, our girl back here, Acne Amy. I've opened up a few of these. I've sent a lot of these out to you viewers out there. It's just thank you gifts, things like that. This is a great set, the magnet set. In fact, I went over that in my last video. Welcome addition to my collection. Don't eat the candy. I tried it, it is not good anymore. So, but again, really cool display box. So I decided to keep that. Here is my buttons. Now these I got a while back. Um, Garbage Pail Kids, this is not in the best condition of a box, but it is all 36 buttons inside of here. These are really cool. Love these buttons. Um, you can find these on a regular. People always ask what the prices of these are. They are not very expensive. You can buy a button for just a few dollars. You can typically, if you shop around, find a pretty good deal on boxes. In fact, a lot of pop culture type stores that I go to around my neck of the woods, they always have these buttons sitting for sale. Sometimes people have opened them and turned the back of the buttons into magnets and it looked great on refrigerators. Nonetheless, they're still a really cool addition to my collection. I really like them because again, they scream the late 80s and early 90s nostalgia that I like so much. And the box is just really, really cool. So New Wave Dave on the front, done by the Topps Company, 1986. Very cool addition, Garbage Pail Kid buttons. Okay, so let's start grabbing a few other items. I still don't have a complete set of the Peter Pan mugs. So I in fact lost an auction just recently for the last one that I needed. Someone outbid me at the last second, whatever. One of these days I'll get the last mug, but here is my first one. Cranky Frankie, Russell Muscle, and Drippy Dan. No Peter Pan uh, sticker on the bottom here, but a still pretty sweet mug. 
These are as 80s as 80s can be. Put your juice in here as a kid and you were the coolest kid ever having one of these drinking out of watching Saturday morning cartoons. Second one, Jason Basin, Hot Scott, and Mean Gene. The bottom does have the sticker on it. Again, it says second series to follow, but they never did a second series. Third one here, Ray Decay, Double Heather, and Nasty Nick. Nasty Nick's got just a small little bit of damage on those. You saw lots of damage on these mugs. You saw incorrect names. They were printed upside down. Error mugs are actually pretty uncommon to find. So if you have a few error mugs, you want to keep them in your collection. But hey, if you're out there and you've got a mug that I don't have, hit me up. I've got cool stuff to trade. I would love to one of these days finish that Peter Pan mug collection. All right, I'm gonna reach over here because I have some other cool little things. You want a little bit more modern here. We've got the Garbage Gang slime buckets. So the Garbage Gang were sold in Europe. This is not a complete box. I am missing four, but the slime's still good. Let's listen. They come with a little cool figure in here. These are awesome. I love to open them up. The figure is teeny, teeny, tiny, but still really cool to collect. So there are eight of the 12 slime mugs. And then of course, over here, let me reach over here. Sorry to shake the camera. This one is really cool. This is gonna be your Scorpions. This is a full complete box full of 12 Scorpion mugs. I'm even gonna bend that back. Inside of here, it has the all 12 of the Scorpions slime and figures, which is gonna be the same as the Garbage Gang. And then of course we have each activity book. You've got 12 activity books in here talking about what figures you can get in there. And then if I remember correctly, I believe in the back they have some puzzles. Um, there's a coloring. There's a puzzle, a maze, that's really cool. Hey, I just love GPK. Um, tell the difference, who is the figure, Hangman. Very, very cool. Thought this was a very welcome addition to my collection. It's been in my collection for a while. And awesome, the Scorpions slime. So we've got Garbage Gang and the Scorpions slime buckets right there. Let's move on to something else kind of unique and neat. I haven't seen this a lot in a lot of people's collection. This is the 2014 Garbage Pail Kid wall calendar. Includes bonus stickers. This is really neat. So let me set this down and see if I can open this up. Inside of here, you've got some of the backs. And of course you have the 2013 calendar right there. And then page number one, that is January 2014. We have Adam Baum. Nikki Hickey for February. Come on, Valentine's Day, right? There she is, Leaky Lindsay for March. Really cool. Stormy Heather for April. Come on, April showers, right? Half Nelson for May. That's my birthday month. Half Nelson for May. Alien Ian for June. Snooty Sam. Uncle Sam for July. Very cool. They put some some thought into this calendar on some of the months. Armpit Brit for August. I'm assuming it's just because it's so hot out, right? Armpit Brit. Joe Blow for September. Dead Ted for October. Halloween, right? Very cool. November has ruptured Rupert. And of course, for the Macy's Day type parades that they do. And December, of course, you figured Chris Ness. So how awesome is this, this calendar? It is in immaculate condition. I don't even think it's been hung before. So a very, very welcome addition to my collection, the 2014 Garbage Pail Kid calendar. Okay, so now we're gonna get into a couple of those Imperial toys. We'll start with some pencil bags. Now, a really cool fact here, I saw the pencil bags on eBay. Someone was selling a really nice box of pencil bags and it had six of them in a really good condition box. I bid on it and for the longest time was the high bidder. I thought, I'm finally gonna get a pencil bag box. And at the last two minutes, this thing sold the box in six pencil bags for $627 and change. 
I was not anywhere near that bidding price, nor would I expect that to go. But these are awesome. Um, I have an open one in my collection and you just unzip it and sniff it. It smells like that 80s Imperial Toys plastic. It is so cool. Here's my second one. Pop it, scouting, and Sumo Sid. And then of course, Damage Don and Peg Leg Peter. This one has a nice little price tag on it. It says it's a buck. Same one again for that one. Then we got Junk Food John there, Adam Bomb on that other one. I had a couple more I did. They were all duplicates. I ended up helping a few collectors out on the Facebook Marketplace trying to complete their sets. So that's why I'm left, I think, with four or five of those and one open one. Um, a couple of the balloons, um, I got two of them. Both of these are unopened. This one has the Toys R Us sticker. This one's just the red background, which is a little bit different than this one, of course. Um, very, very cool, very nostalgic for me. They're just balloons with a black and white garbage pail kid figure on them. But I do have two of them, put them in a nice little plastic container there. Um, what else? All right, so high bounce balls. Not the best condition as you can see. It was broken, it got broken in shipping. I was heartbroken for that. But we got Corroded Carl, Corroded Carl. And who is that? That is... Billy Millie, is that who that is? Frigid Bridget, okay, Frigid Bridget. And then on the back side, hard to see these figures, but I did not have a high bounce that had three balls in it. And now I do, even though it's damaged, I don't care, still awesome in my collection. Welcome addition to the collection as well. Um, I got some other, do I, yeah, here's my, this is the first one I got, the high bounce ball. So Bent Bren, very cool. And of course our boy Itchy Richie on the back. Again, the packaging, not the best, but what I was trying to do was get one of every Imperial Toys. There are a few extra out there that I still don't have, although I am pretty close to making a deal on a complete in-box um, bot bag, full-size bot bag. Hopefully I'll have that to share here in the future. What else do we have? We have some zipper pulls here, Junkie Jeff and Brainy Janie zipper pulls. Still have the Toys R Us price tags on those. Um, I do have a set of the jewelry set, and you know I had to get my boy up, Chuck, for the jewelry set. Um, anyone knows where West Fair Drugs was? It was $1.50, but again, up, Chuck, and then a couple of the rings, Potty Scotty and Cranky Frankie. Really welcome addition to my collection. Um, not in love with the jewelry sets, but it is up, Chuck, and it's awesome. If I could ever break this open, I would sport that chain. I'm telling you, I would wear it around like a badge of honor. Um, all right, what else? Uh, a couple sunglasses, uh, really 80s nostalgic. I have a either blue or purple um, and then a green pair. Some are in better condition than others, um, the backs. These come with different types of backs, different types of fronts. For a while there, these were pretty pricey and now they've kind of fallen off. You can pick them up for 50, 60 bucks on eBay. Um, for the longest time, people were asking a few hundred dollars for each pair of these sunglasses, which was was definitely not worth it, but uh, they are really cool pieces in the Imperial Toys collection, and I was welcome to add these to my collection. Uh, let me see if I can set these aside for now. There's the sunglasses. Um, okay, so we got some pencil billboards here. Of course, I like these because they have the wrong names on them. You've got Ray Decay for Up Chuck, Cranky Fanky for Virus Iris, and there is Haggy Maggie. Um, I do like the pencil billboards. One of the few Imperial toy items that I had as a kid. I don't believe I bought them, I just traded cards for them. I remember putting them on my pencil tops, and then I had a teacher, I think in fifth grade, she would come and snag them off your pencil tops because you weren't supposed to have garbage pail kids in school, but still really cool, the pencil billboard. Um, tacky snappers, you know I had to get my boy up, Chuck, for a tacky snapper. He's still got everything in there, including the little targets. Very cool, like the tacky snappers. Um, I do have a few tacky snappers. Um, let's see here, so, Licky Lindsay tacky snapper, really, really nice, and I have a slimy Sam tacky snapper. Um, still complete in the box. Um, some have the original price tag, some do not. It's been blacked out, but regardless, welcome additions to my collection. Um, one pop-up. 
These things are still really popular. Uh, hard to find, especially in the packaging with the bubbles still attached. This one's damaged on. I've had it for a few years. Um, really like the pop-ups. I'd like to have a full, complete set of these someday, but I think they're just a little bit out of my price range. I don't want to pay $40 to $50 for a pop-up. Occasionally, you find them at pretty good deals, but I haven't found a lot of them lately. So, but it's still very welcome addition to my collection there. Um, all right, so some stickers. Um, I, you know, I put all these stickers in big plastic top loaders. Um, of course, there's your placard stickers that have the Garbage Pail Kids tagline. And then, of course, they look like they're the 3D wall plaques. You got Up Chuck, Bony Joni, Nasty Nick. Very, very cool. A few more of those. Um, Schizoid Fran, Cactus Carol, Foul Phil. These are the 3D Puffy stickers. They scream 80s as well. How awesome are these? So there's a set of Puffy stickers, another set of Puffy stickers. If you're looking for these on eBay, what you want to watch is to make sure the stickers are not moving on the backs. If they're not moving on the backs, they're a little better quality of sticker, probably hold a little bit more value. This happens when they're not stored in the right place and eventually they lose the stickiness and they fall off. Um, of course, the name tag stickers, we played with these as kids. You tried to find your name or your buddy's name, you'd stick it on their folder or their trapper keeper. So welcome additions to my collection. Um, this is just something my wife picked me up uh, or picked up for me off of Amazon. Um, just little stickers, but I did throw it in there with the rest. And again, these as well um, have that little uh, kind of atomic refractor to these. So thought they were neat and put those in there. Um, okay. All right, just some Garbage Gang Silly Bands. Uh, they, they don't really have a whole lot to do with Garbage Pail Kids with the exception of the, the little teeny tiny, maybe atom bomb or damage Don shape there. Uh, but I like the packaging. Uh, they were just a few bucks, so pick that up. Um, this is a really cool pencil bag you got with the pre-order of Welcome to Smell Build, the books. There is another pre-order of the second book right now out there on Amazon. Make sure you do that. Go to the site and fill out the pre-order. You can find that out on, um, I believe it is Garbage Pail Kid World. You can register your pre-order. And this time around, they're doing some pencils. And let me tell you something about pencils. They are hard to find. So if these are any way limited, these Garbage Pail Kid pencils, you will want to make sure you fill out your pre-order when you order the second book there. Um, just something from... Um, who is this from? This is from the, the same place that does the coins, but uh, regardless, little Adam Bomb patch, I think I showed him before. Really cute. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that. So that is, oh, here it is. Um, also with the pre-order, you got a, a signed Joe Simcoe, um, Welcome to Smellville bookmark. And we've probably all seen these before, but just wanted to share that. That is pretty much it. That is my Imperial Toy Collection and all of the fun little mishmash items that I have on my collection shelf. Um, super fun sharing all this with you. Really like to dig all this stuff out. Really, really cool. If anyone out there has something that I don't have and you want to do some trading, hit me up, especially with these fun little Imperial Toy things. If I've got a double of something like these pencil bags, I'm happy to do some trading with you. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, episode five. We're gonna go through my original series sets. Um, it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. I'm probably gonna have to step in front of the camera for that because I don't know how else to show it in this small area. So we'll start with, uh, we'll skip OS one because we already went through that. We'll start with OS two and work our way through OS 15. I'll show you what's in the binders, what's in the big gigantic top loaders what's in all those boxes, how many sets of each, the different types of variation sets, and then we'll work our way through the modern and so on. Again, thank you so much. Appreciate your subscription, your thumbs up, your comments. I love you guys out there, GPK fam. Let's not forget again about the 750 subscriber giveaway. We're close to that reveal. We'll find out what that full color sketch card is, and then we'll give that out at 750 subscribers. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Talk to you again soon. Bye.